Hi, I'm Adam with Let Us Try That. Welcome back to the Let Us Try That Test Kitchen, where today we'll be looking at another As Seen on TV product. This time it is the Robo Twist. It helps you open even the toughest jars with just the push of a button. This product seems a little bit gimmicky to me, but if it actually does help someone who has arthritis or other physical limitations, then it might actually be worthwhile. So today we're going to put it to the test and see if it's any good. Okay, so we'll start with an unboxing. We've got a user manual. Doesn't look too long, so I'll take a minute to read through that. And the batteries are going to go in there. So I'll uh, take a minute to read through the instruction manual. We'll put some batteries in, and then we'll put this thing to the test. Well, I have to admit, it's been a couple of weeks since I shot the intro, but I finally got around to reading the instructions. I read the back cover, at least. I can't read. So, let's give this thing a try. We'll put some batteries in. It's got a positive and negative. So this one's going to go in with the negative end sticking out. This one's going to go in with the positive end sticking out. And we'll put that battery cover back on. And in the instructions it said this would happen. When you put the batteries in and close the cover, it turns on and resets to uh, its default setting, I guess. So now, we just need to put this on a jar and see if it will do a good job of opening those jars. Okay, I don't have too many brand new unopened jars, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and crank really tight on there. Make sure it's as tight as I can get it. So we'll start with something fairly standard, a uh, strawberry jam jar. We'll just lower this onto the lid and push the button. If you just push the button and let it go, it only turns on for a second. So you got to hold it down for a couple of seconds and then it takes over from there. These little arms squeeze in and grab on the lid and these arms will come in and squeeze the jar. After that, it starts to twist off the lid, and there you go. I guess it thinks it's still going because I took it off, but you can see the lid came off. And I, um, I cranked on that pretty tight with my hands to get it as tight as I could. This thing is still going. A few moments later. Okay, I'm going to try another one. So this one, I believe is a brand new unopened jar. And it's got kind of a small lid, so we'll see how, we'll see how the Robo Twist does with a brand new unopened jar with a small lid. So again, we'll just put this on top. We'll hold the button down for a few seconds. And we'll wait and see what happens. So the smaller arms have grabbed a hold of the lid. The bigger arms are coming in to grab a hold of the jar. And then it will start to twist. And there it goes. Actually, it looks like 
it's just slipping around the side of the jar. I think the Robo Twist may have failed on this one. And right now it's opening back up because it's it thinks it's finished. Now that it's done opening back up, we'll see what happened. Now nope, this one is still nice and tight. So it failed on the smaller jar. It just started to slide around the jar. So this one was a fail. It worked well on the strawberry jam jar, but it failed on the smaller olive jar. So let's do another test. This time we'll do sort of an odd shaped jar, but it does have a little bit of a larger diameter lid, so that might help. But I'm also going to make sure this is as tight as I can get it. So that this thing has to work. So place it on, hold the button down. And then we wait for it to do its thing. And it worked. It takes a little while for it to twist the lid off and then it opens back up. The whole process is a bit slow. And there you go. The lid has come off. So I want to try one more. I'm going to get this lid nice and tight also. This one is a craft sandwich spread. It's a plastic jar and a plastic lid. We'll see if it works on that. Now you can go get a drink of water or a snack while you wait for this to open. Wow, it is crushing the plastic jar, but it is turning the lid. and the lid comes off, so it worked. So, so far we've run four tests. We did strawberry jam, we did olives, we did an odd shaped jar with the paste picante sauce, and we did this sandwich spread. And three out of the four were successful. With this one that it failed on, I'm thinking maybe it's just too narrow of a diameter because it worked on all of these wider ones. So I guess three out of four isn't bad. I guess if you have uh, difficulty opening jars and you have something like this, the, uh, the olive jar, you might have to go ask a neighbor for help or something. But uh, if you can't get to your olives, at least you can have some jam or a chips and salsa or something, or make a nice sandwich. So this did pretty well, three out of four, but it's kind of slow. 
and it requires batteries. There is another thing that you can use. One moment. So I picked up this on Amazon.com and this just gives you a little more leverage when opening jars. So the way it works is this part goes around the lid, you give it a squeeze, and then you have all of this leverage to open the jar with. And then it has different size holes. I use this biggest hole on the strawberry jam. We'll use the next one down for the picante sauce. Just give it a squeeze. Boom, comes right off. Well, it's nice and loose. There we go. Try the sandwich spread. No problem. So I think for me, this would be a better option. Not that I really have difficulty opening jars. I normally don't have a problem. But if there's one that's a little tight for me, I'd probably reach for this. However, if you have arthritis or an injury or some other issue that prevents you from opening a jar, even something like this that gives you extra leverage still might be a little too difficult. In that case, the Robo Twist might work well for you. So if you really need the extra help and you can't use something like this, then you might want to go ahead and get the Robo Twist. For me, it takes a little too long and something like this is just easier. But if you want to buy one of these, I'll leave a link in the description. If you would prefer something like this, I'll leave a link for that as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another Let Us Try That product review.